All right, what's up, guys? So we're going to be going over the OP03 or OP03 leaders today from Pillars of Strength. And as I've mentioned in other videos, I'm aware that this has been out for a while now because Japan is ahead of us. But I am just getting caught up on the channel. This is going to be my first uh, content, you know, first piece of actual content here, going over the leaders, giving my opinions on them, and I have a little bit of pre knowledge on it. But we're going to go over these uh, regardless. Okay, so first one up is uh, Ace. He is a 5 life, 5,000 power, red leader type, white beard pirate, so a lot of good keywords there. Um, <clears throat> he is His effect is when this leader attacks or is attacked, you may trash any number of event or stage cards from your hand. This leader gains plus 1,000 power during this battle for every card trashed. Okay, um... For those who aren't aware, there's a lot of support for this. There, there are some new events for Ace that are going to be very nice. And then, you know, worst case scenario, your hand's full of events. You can just pitch them for counters later in the game, right? And it says, uh, when this leader attacks or is attacked. Okay, that's, that's a big deal. That means, you know, you can do it on offense or on defense. So... Overall, I would say that this this is a pretty good uh, leader, just in general. And like I said, once we get into the red cards, you'll see as well that red has a lot of good removal coming for it. Or, you know, it already had good removal in Jet Pistol. It already had good removal even in uh, Red Hawk, but it's got some more stuff coming. And um, from what I understand, a lot of people have a lot... There's a, th This card is... Uh, this Excuse me, this leader is very good, and I think, I think it's going to see a lot of play. So um, if I were to rate this um, out of 10, I would give this like a 9 out of 10. I'm not a red player in particular. I like the black cards in this game. I'm more about running the Navy stuff and control. But I, I, I'm going to be honest. I, this, is like an, this is like an effect I wish I had in black, right? Because in black, I, I want to run a lot of events. I want to run, you know, all kinds of different events, that destroy characters and do this and do that, but that's already a big theme discarding to kill stuff in black, so I understand, you know, what's going on there. Overall, this card, very good. I'd give this one a 9 out of 10. Very strong. Next, we got Arlong. Uh, this is a green-yellow leader. He is a 4-life, uh, power 5,000, color green-yellow. Now, his types are Fishman, East Blue, and Arlong Pirates, so there are a lot of keywords there, a lot of stuff going on there. Uh, his effect is Dawn times two when attacking. So that means attach two Dawn to him, right? When attacking, you can pay one or rest the specified number of Dawn cards in your cost area. Play up to one character card with a cost of four or less and a trigger from your hand. Uh, uh, you know, that's this is going to depend on all the different triggers he can get. So this card has a lot of potential going forward because. Okay, you'll be swinging for seven, but you do have to pay that additional Dawn. So it's a three Dawn investment, and you're playing up to one character card with a cost of four or less and a trigger from your hand. That has to be a cost of four or less and a trigger from your hand. So, you know, it really will depend on what kind of four drops green and yellow can uh, muster up. And this card has a lot of potential, especially going forward, right? Because ultimately, you're paying three Dawn to swing for seven and you're getting a, a cost for out of it and then there's going to be a trigger uh well no, excuse me the trigger's just never mind that's that's if it comes off the top but still that's i i, I do this, see this card as being pretty good if i were to i don't know yet it, it will t completely depend on the support that it gets from green and yellow and i do think it will get some so if i were to rate this card uh out of 10 I, I, this one this one's probably up there around seven out of ten and up again it would rise more and more depending on the support it gets, but it would lower if it doesn't get enough support to make it worth using these these uh, playing trigger effects. So, but very, very strong because we know yellow has life manipulation, and uh, we already know what green can do. That's you know, green's been doing very well. Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> All right, iceberg. This is a five life, five thousand power, purple color. Type Water 7 and a Galila company. 
This leader cannot attack. Okay, very interesting. Activate main. Dawn minus one. So Dawn minus one, that's return a Dawn to your hand, right? You may return the specified number of Dawn cards from your field to your Dawn deck, or to your Dawn deck, if you're not your hand. <laughs> uh, you may rest this leader, play up to one Galley Law Company type character card with a cost of four or less from your hand. Okay. Uh, you may, let's try that. Let me read that again. You may rest this leader, play up to one Galley Law Company type character card with a cost of five or less from your hand. So, okay, you know, th this, the idea here is you're going to be ramping forward. By the way, he can't attack. So even though you're getting a five cost, right, which, you know, the vanilla base stats for a five cost is a uh, 7,000 power, 1,000 counter for a vanilla statted uh, five cost. You know, you're, you're getting that, if, if you have it, of course, if you have it in your hand and it's Galila Company, it's it's allowing, but it's it's slowing you down into the later game. So I see this as like a really, you know, a potentially strong early to mid game control style deck. Because remember, you're, you're losing one dawn every time, so you're setting yourself back for the late game. Um, but once you get, to, see, they're still getting to ten, right? They're still they're going to be getting to ten faster. If you if you use this ability three or four times. Well, you're going to be getting to... Here, let, let's do the math on it. Let's say you go first with this guy, right? I guess that'd be ideal, right? Because you get a, a, a five cost on turn one, right? So you return one Dawn back on turn one and drop a five drop uh, purple character. Well, Galley Law Company character. You know, that, that will be nice, but that might prompt your opponent to just sit back on next turn. Okay, I'll just sit on my, on my, my um, Red Hawk or my shockwave or impact wave, whatever, or my, my hell's judgment, you know, whatever counter spell or counter event to just stop that, that early. And then you're still swinging with your leader as the other guy. So, um, I'll give this a, like a five, a five out of 10, because like I said, I just don't, and see they're, they're con the, your opponent is continually ramping into the late game. And of course you don't have to use this guy's ability, but then why would you use this leader? Right. So, so the idea is you want to use this guy's ability since he can't attack because otherwise you're just sitting there doing nothing. Uh, unless there's a combo that comes out later. That's always a situation, right? That's possible. But I'll give this this leader like a 5 out of 10 and we have to see what kind of support it gets. If, it, if it's a deck that can just ramp out five characters by turn five and just mow you know, the other person over, then it can be really strong, right? But I just don't see that support coming from purple. But who knows? We'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, Katakuri, Charlotte Katakuri. This is a yellow, five life, 5,000 power, big mom pirates leader. Uh, his effect is Dawn times one. So that means attach one Dawn to him. When attacking, look it up to one card from the top of your, your or your opponent's life cards. That's weird. Look it up to one card from the top of your or your opponent's life cards. Okay. And place it at the top or bottom of the life cards. Very powerful. And then this leader gains plus 1,000 power during this battle. So basically, anytime you want to attach one Dawn to him to make him into a 6,000 swinging uh, leader, he's going to be a 7,000 every single time. Because you can choose your life cards or your opponent's life cards to look at and adjust accordingly. Um, I see that as being very good. That, that seems very, very strong. It's, especially if yellow has enough support to go along with this guy. This, this seems very good. Um, that, that effect is just always on for a one Dawn investment. So for one Dawn, you're swinging seven every time, whereas all of their leaders are only going to be able to, you know, swing six, you know, with a few exceptions, of course, you know, if you can get smoker minus one, if you can get, uh, if you're running white beard and stuff like that. Uh, but in general, he's doing the same. He's swinging for as much as a smoker or a white beard, but you know, with one Dawn investment, I'm saying, but he's also getting to look at the top of the, his opponent's life cards and adjusting them. Like, oh, there's a trigger on top. I better put that on the bottom, right? So that, you know, stuff like that. That the, I would give this card a 9 out of 10. He's up there. This card is an 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10. Very strong. If Yellow sees enough support, because, you know, OP03 is going to be the first time we see Yellow cards here in the West, right, on, on the tables. Um, so this, this, could be, this could be really interesting. 
All right, Kuro, green leader, uh, five life, 5,000 power, east blue, black cat pirates. Effect main, activate main, pay three. You may, re you may rest the specified number of dawn cards in your cost area. You may rest two of your east blue type characters, set this leader as active, and rest up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of five or less. So you're resting two of your guys to make this guy active, and you're resting up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of five or less. <clears throat> okay. Um, that could be very strong. That could be very, very strong, especially for, you know, all-in st style attacks. You know, if... if uh, <laughs> this is kind of like the uh, Rob Lucci effect here, which we're going to look at in a second, or in a minute. Uh, activate... This is on your main... And there is no limit to how many times you can do this. So if you have the Dawn available, so if you, let's say you have six Dawn, and say you have four East Blue type characters on the board, well, you can swing with this guy, uh, rest the characters to unrest the leader, sw uh, swing again, and just swing again. So that would be three, three swings on one character. But that seems like a lot. Like, why would you have um, those kind of East Blue characters on the board that aren't that you're not swinging with to begin with, right? I mean, I could still see this being very strong because you're not discarding anything, you're not removing anything, and you are uh, tapping down their characters or, or resting their characters that are five or less, so it allows you to swing into them. I, I think this card's very good. I think this is at least a 7 out of 10. I would give this a 7 out of 10, if not higher. Um, we'll have to see what green gets, you know. Uh, with a lot of my my rankings you'll see it really depends on what can support this leader but his ability on paper right just reading what it does you know you, you tap down two of your, or you, you rest two of your east blue characters that might be smaller units and smash in again with this guy well, well excuse me let, me let me do it in the right order so you'll smash in with this guy let's let's just say it's you know but it is it is a three dawn investment so you're kind of giving up your production for that turn so late in the game this this is this is probably a mid to late game type of, abil of ability. In fact, it has to be, right? Because three dawn, you know, you're at least on turn two, at the very, very least, and that's sacrificing your entire turn to do this effect if you got down two on turn one somehow. you know. That, so I would say this is a turn three or four type ability and, and moving on from there. Uh, so pretty good, though. I, I, I do like this card. I think it's very strong. I give, Like I said, I give this out like a 7 out of 10. The, the ability itself is very good, especially being able to tap down or resting your opponent's 5 cost or less. I mean, you could tap down like a, a Borsalino, for example, and just smash him if you've got a Dawn attached. So very nice. Okay. Next. Charlotte Lin Lin. Um, this is a black-yellow 4, four life 5,000 power leader. Four life is standard for the dual colored leaders who can, who can attack. We'll see in uh, OP, OP04 that, you know, they're, they're allowing the multicolored leaders to have five life but can't attack. You know, they'll trade off. So anyway, uh, four emperors, big mom pirates, dawn times two when attacking, pay two. You may trash one card from your hand. If you have one or less life cards, add up to one card from the top of your deck to the top of your life cards. Um, this is really strong. This allows for a lot of things to go on. Um, you know, I, I see the this this effect being really good against you know the decks that are trying to just smash and, and kill everything. You know, like uh, you know uh, rush in, blitz in, and just do as much damage as possible as fast as possible. You know. You can see it like this. Like here's here's like the logic I would use when, when reading this card. Like okay, say your opponent smashed in, you know, for for like ten thousand last turn, right? Now you, you do have to be at one life, one or less life cards, but you let them take that that one life left, right? And now you're now you're or that second life, you're down to one life. Now you you could just not defend it at all and use that two K counter. This, this next turn in, with, with, you know, Dawn times two when attacking pay two. So it's a four Dawn investment. You trash the card that you couldn't use to save your life. And then you put the top card of your, you know, your deck onto your life cards. So, you know, I, I could see this being very strong. Um, 
it, it is a big investment and it does it, it doesn't really let you ramp life or anything it just lets you get out of that that one and zero life spot to get to one or two life instead so I'll give this like a six out of ten. I'll give it like a five out of ten or a six out of ten, like just on paper, not counting any kind of support that goes with it yet. I can't do that, you know. Just just trying to judge the card for what it's worth. Um, I, I think the effect is strong, but it is a large investment and it is somewhat situational. It does have a lot of um, you know parameters to it. You have to have one or less life cards. So the most you're going to get out of this is up to two life at a time, which is good, which is not a bad thing. That's very strong, but. That that's for a four dawn investment. So so you did lose a lot from that turn. So uh, I give it a six out of ten. Like I said, I think it's pretty good. Could be could be even better depending on what kind of cards it sees uh, for support. Nami. Okay, we got a five life, five thousand power blue leader, East Blue type effect. When your deck is reduced to zero, you win the game instead of losing according to the rules so again you know normally you would lose the game if you're if your deck hits zero with her effect you know or with her as your leader rather you go you you win the game instead she also has dawn times one so attach one dawn to her that means she's swinging for six thousand when this leader's attack deals damage to your opponent's life you may trash one card from the top of your deck and again you have to hit their life so if they block with the defender it doesn't it doesn't get the uh, job done <clears throat> so um a card already had to be um, banned because this leader's uh, was able to go off so easily. So clearly, this is a good leader, but it does come down to a lot of the support in it. But if if I were judging this leader by itself, just what it is on paper here, like what it looks like to me, um, I would I would still give this like a, a seven out of ten because it's allowing you to win the game through another means, right? Like you don't have to just smash in. You could just play defensively and win the game by comboing out kind of thing. Actually, I'll, I'll give I'll give the leader a five out of 10, the more I think about it, not a seven out of 10, not a six out of 10. It's, it's, a, it's a five out of 10 because that's a good thing in one, in one respect because think about it, you want to win the game, but you're doing it at the expense of manipulating the way the game was designed to be played because li i mean literally this character redefines the rules <laughs> so so the you know the original rules say that you lose the game when you get to zero um cards in your deck but she's saying you win the game like that so so on paper i'll say i give it a five you know for the people who want to try something new who want a new um you know just a deck to have fun with and play around with this would be a really cool leader for that but you know i could see think about if this if this deck becomes tier one it will feel really bad losing to this effect all the time. So I'll give the, the card a 5 out of 10 on paper. Okay. Uh, very interesting design, though. Very cool. All right. Rob Lucci. So we got a 5 life, 5,000 power uh, black leader, CP9. His effect is on your turn, once per turn, you may trash two cards from your hand. When your opponent's character is KO'd, set this leader as active. So unlike um, unlike our other guy, let me go back to the green guy. This guy has you know active Kuro has activate main pay three. You may rest the specified number of dawn in your car. In your excuse me, you may rest the specified number of dawn cards in your cost area. You may rest two of your east blue type characters. Set this leader's active, and rest as one of your opponent's characters with a cost of five or less. This card you can do as many times as you can afford, but theoretically that's only twice, right? Because you can only have five. Uh, characters on the board and it costs six dawn every time so to play another character maybe you can get away with doing it three times altogether if you you know if you have a one drop to replace it you know there's i think there's potential to do it uh two if not three times and you can just keep doing this effect but with with rob lucci you are limited to once per turn and under the clause of koing a character one of your opponent's characters and you're also trashing two cards from your hand uh, this is a this is quite the investment. You're trashing two cards from your hand, and that is what the CP9 type does. By the way, we'll, we'll you see, you'll see that with the CP9 black cards. But that that is you know it is. I mean, think about it. it it's very nice for end of the game type. You know, all out swinging. You know, maybe maybe um, you have to swing all out with this guy, and then you KO a character then you'll be able to stand him back up 
you'll set the you can set the leaders active. And let me read it one more time. Your turn, once per turn, you may trash two cards from your hand. When your opponent's character is KO'd, set the leaders active. So if I understand this correctly, if the translation's correct, your character or excuse me, your opponent's character can be KO'd by any effect. Like it doesn't have to be by Rob Lucci, or it could be killed by another. You know, it, it, yeah, it could be by Rob Lucci. You know, you could smash into it, discard the two, and stand him up. But it doesn't have to be him. You could use a Kobe, in other words, or something like that. So that, I, I think this card on paper, I think this is like a seven or eight out of ten. This is a really cool card on paper, and if it has enough support, it could be easily a nine out of ten or a ten out of ten. Uh, it can be very aggressive, I can tell. Okay, and that's it for the um, for the OP. Zero, three leaders. Let me just count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Yeah, that was all of them, guys. Um, thanks for listening, whoever's still listening up to this point, and I'll be coming out with the rest of OP03 as soon as I can. All right. Until next time.